Hello, everybody. Today I'm here with the top 10 doctors in Dr. Mario World. And I'm just going to preface the idea of everything, uh, explain myself a little bit, and then we'll get into it. Uh, first up, I had to make this a rule. I was not going to include Wario on this list. Um, I use him so often in my videos, I don't think... I mean, can I even put him at number one? His skill is really useful, but he doesn't really do all that much, and also in versus mode he's not that helpful. So just in general I decided I'm not going to include Wario on this list, uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And also, um, the list is comprised of characters who are good in both stage mode and versus mode, and I'll discuss my thoughts on uh, how good they are in each as I go through it. Um, you know, the higher on the list, the better in both of them they are. Uh, but also, I kind of focused on versus mode a tiny bit more, I would say. Um, just because it's a little bit easier for me to figure out who is the best in general. Um, and also, this list is not, um, you know, the definitive list. It's kind of my opinion. I kind of am weird on characters I enjoy playing as sometimes. So your list is probably going to look different than mine. Um, and sometimes I try to just be, in general, objective, but for the most part, a lot of it is pretty opinionated. So anyways, let's get into it. At number 10, I put Yoshi. And this is another one where it's just like, people would probably put this one higher on the list. You can even see throughout this video, most of the people I play against are playing as Yoshi. Uh, he is a pretty common character that is played in versus mode. Um, I just personally don't really care for it to use him in versus mode, and in Sage mode he often isn't helpful enough, but he is pretty helpful. He generically just gets rid of five items, and in versus mode he gets rid of a lot more. It actually is pretty helpful in versus mode if I'm being honest. Uh, but most of the time he's just not helpful enough in the stage mode. Uh, in the beginning worlds he probably is very helpful, but after a while it's just not going to cut it. So um, He's just got a very basic moveset I thought. His skill is very basic, and that's why I kind of decided to go with Yoshi. Um, then at number 9, I chose uh, Boo, just regular Boo. And um, he's kind of just another version of Fire Rosalina in a way. Uh, but I would say in versus mode, he's significantly worse. Uh, the best thing about Boo is that he gets his skill very quickly. Fire Rosalina can sometimes take a while to charge up her skill, and if you have very small uh, sections of uh, like viruses that, or not even viruses, but things just that are just going to take a lot of hits, um, he is perfect for that kind of thing. Uh, just small areas. Rose Fire Rosalina is the better one if you want larger areas, but he can really make an impact on short levels with uh, small amounts of capsules and everything. Like I said, in versus mode, he's not that great. Um, he, I mean, he's not terrible. I just find that his skill is not that helpful, even though you're getting it pretty often. Uh, it's just such a small area, and you're constantly getting stuff. Um, he, he is a character that only has a like a attack speed of one, so you're attacking pretty often, but you're not attacking very much. I tend to prefer characters with at least two and up. I don't really like the ones with the one. Um, but there are, I think there's one, maybe two more on this list that have that. Anyways, let's just go on to the, the next character. At number eight, I have 8-Bit Dr. Mario. That's pretty fitting, actually. Number eight, I have 8-Bit. I didn't plan that. Um, and I, I think he's pretty useful in both. Just not as good as most characters. Uh, his skill in, in stage mode is pretty great, uh, especially in, in stages where they're just, um, I mean, I think it's special viruses he clears in stage mode, um, which is pretty helpful, especially for the floating viruses, and there are other different types. Uh, I'm not sure if ice twins count, I don't remember, but um, his skill is just pretty useful in that regard. Uh, and in versus mode, it makes the game just like completely different for the enemy. I personally hate playing against 8-bit Dr. Mario's. Um, just because it's really hard to... I don't know. It's really hard to... 
change the, your your mindset and not be able to move those single capsules as they're falling. It makes it a, like the original game if you weren't in on that. Um, and it's a really cool idea and it makes the versus mode a lot different and a lot more challenging when you're so used to playing it normally. So you, you get in a different mindset completely and most of the time it messes with me too much and I end up losing because of it. So he's pretty great in, in versus mode sometimes. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say so let's just go to number 7 with Dry Bowser. Um, he was basically the character I used until I got Wario in stage mode. I mean Bowser was the first one and then I switched to Dry Bowser and then now Wario obviously. Uh, but I was able to clear quite a lot of stages with Dry Bowser and oftentimes I will use him in versus mode when he's part of like the showcase. Not showcase. I don't remember what it's, the specialists. I believe it's called. And if he's put one of them, I will often choose him. And I don't specifically have a reason. I tend to like the characters with uh, the four speed attack, which takes a lot longer, but attacks a lot when you actually get it. And I don't really have a reason for that. I just enjoy using those characters. It seems like. And Dry Bowser is a great one for that, and the skill can be pretty useful. Um, it does have a bit of random chance in it, which is not always great. Um, but it is better than Bowser's in my opinion. You may have a different opinion on that, but that's my belief. Um, so I quite enjoy using Dry Bowser. I doubt he would be on a lot of other people's lists. Um, but anyways, let's move on to number 6, where I chose Larry. And I feel like I forget about using Larry a, a lot of times, but I also see a lot of people using them and also get uh, pretty destroyed by some Larrys in versus mode. Now it's, I just have to say in stage mode, oftentimes he's not that helpful. There aren't a lot of stages where it's like you need to clear a lot of color crates, but they do it sometimes and sometimes he is pretty useful in stage mode, I've got to say. But just not as generically useful as some other characters, you know, he's not going to be great for uh, quite a lot of stages. It'd be hard to showcase him for an entire world because very few of those stages are going to be helpful. Uh, he's going to be helpful for, I guess I should say. But in stage mode, I quite enjoy using him. And also, like I said, people destroy me a lot uh, against when I'm against the Larry. Because he just spawns in a, a, a lot of colored crates very often. Especially when you're in those stages where you're getting that skill up constantly. You just keep spawning them in, and they're really hard to clear since you need very specific uh, capsules for them. And just when they're spawning in so quickly, that's just nothing you can do. And he is a once uh, attack speed character, so he's constantly bringing in more viruses as well. It can be pretty frustrating to play against him, honestly. But I think he's pretty good, uh, to be honest. And maybe he deserves to be higher on the list, but I also really enjoy playing as the other characters. So let's move on to number 5, where I have Wendy. And uh, I'm just going to say right now, number 4 is Ludwig. And I think that I would say they're pretty interchangeable for me. I would say uh, either one, like depending on the day, I might put Wendy higher than Ludwig. I think they're pretty similar. Uh, both in stage mode and in versus mode. Uh, again, they're another one where it's just like some stages Wendy's not going to be helpful at all. There, there's not a block on the stage. Why bring in Wendy? Same goes for Ludwig. There's no iced viruses. Uh, there's not going to be a, a use for him. But I will say when there is a stage that's full of blocks or there is a stage that's full of... I guess I should say this for Ludwig's... whatever. Um, when there's a stage full of blocks, uh, Wendy is super, super helpful. And, um, I just had a brain fart. What am I trying to say? I'm just saying, I guess, that Wendy, when there's a lot of blocks, I will typically bring in Wendy over, like, Koopa Troopa or anyone else that could be helpful for that stage. Uh, and in, in versus mode, um, she... Another brain fart. She... She spawns in quite a lot of blocks uh, on the enemy side and that's just as frustrating as like the crates that Roy might spawn in or something. I guess Roy could have easily went in here too, I kind of neglected to even bring in Roy. Uh, but still, I enjoy using Wendy. I don't use her too often in versus mode but in the past I used to use her now and again 
and I see people using her, and I get beat by her now and again as well, so, um, I think Wendy's pretty great. Let's also talk about Ludwig, I already kind of said a little bit about him, but, um, he, he's in the same boat as Wendy, where in stage mode he's only helpful in specific stages, um, and in versus mode I think I like him a little bit better than Wendy, which is why I put him at number 4, because, uh, you know, the ice can get super annoying, and if you're getting it constantly, uh, someone who's trying to destroy the ice is just having to continuously try to get rid of, like, just a couple of viruses. Um, and it can really stall some people. You know, you get the red colors for something, and then all of a sudden it's iced, and then you have to destroy it all over again. Um, or you destroy something that's iced, and then it gets iced again because it gets a skill back. And that can just be really messing, it can really mess up the other side, so. Uh, I quite enjoy using Ludwig. He's pretty annoying to play against sometimes, uh, but still, I quite like him. Let's go on to Fire Rosalina at number 3. And I would say I'd more put her on here because I enjoy using her um, in stage mode. I think she can really uh, destroy some stages. Oftentimes, if something isn't working with Wario, the next character I bring in is Fire Rosalina. Just because she gets rid of so much. Uh, and it completely goes away. She destroys it completely. And in stage mode, she gets an even wider range... Sorry, in versus mode, she gets an even wider range of stuff to destroy. So it's really worth it to get her skill when your stage is quite filled up. Uh, chances are she'll destroy most of it. And as long as you can keep yourself from winning a game over, most of the stage will be destroyed for you, and then you can get back into it. So if you are losing, oftentimes with Fire Rosalina, you can get back from it. And that's what I really like about Fire Rosalina. Uh, again, like I said, in stage mode, I think she's really useful. Maybe one of the best characters, um, other than, I guess, than Wario in stage mode. So, let's go to number two. And these next two are going to be completely versus mode based, I would say. I never bring these characters into stage mode, ever. Uh, first up is Mario. And, like I said, you, when you're playing online, you know you're going to be get, seeing a lot of Marios. And, um, I don't think it's even like that his skill is that useful, if I'm being honest, I kind of hate using his skill. Uh, the thing is, you always know where it's going to hit, so you can make it very calculated, but I often am just spamming that skill button as soon as I see it light up, which just leads to me destroying like one or two viruses at a time. If you're able to actually be strategic about it, you can oftentimes destroy quite a bit with it. But I think most people use him just because his generic um, <coughs> two speed and uh, defense really is like uh, one of the best ways, to, like setups to to have. Um, it's like the perfect amount, it, and if you're quick about it, you can really just um, get a get the other character. Sorry, you're, get your opponent to a game over very quickly with Mario, and I don't know, I, I feel like oftentimes I'm able to actually beat a Mario, but they still get me sometimes, and like I said, you see him used so often in versus mode, I felt like I kind of had to put him at number two, which speaking of number one, uh, yeah, I'm sure most of you already know at this point, uh, since you already know my reasoning for Mario. My number one pick is, of course, Fire Mario, um, and again, it's just like, I don't find a skill that useful, I would honestly say that um, Mario's skill is a little bit more useful in stage mode than Fire Mario, just because you get it more often, and you don't often have things in stage mode that have multiple hits in them, it's usually just viruses, depending on the opponent you're against, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's just like, his speed is really good, like, his setup for his defense and speed, if it's not the same as Mario, then it must be better, because just so many people use Fire Mario, and oftentimes I actually do lose against uh, Fire Marios. It's kind of hard not to, if you play a game and you're just constantly getting placed against them. I kind of feel like, actually, Mario's being used more than Fire Mario at this point. But there was a point in time where if you played versus mode, chances were you were going to get Fire Mario. And chances were they were going to beat you. 
Um, and maybe just where I'm at in the stages right now, or in terms of how high I am in versus mode, maybe the higher you go, there's more Fire Marios or something. Um, I have no idea, I guess. There's no way for me to really know that. Um, but yeah, just that point in time, I remember so many Fire Marios being used, that's why I felt like I had to include him. Anyways, that those are my picks. Um, I know Patrick's been asking for this for a while, so I'm happy that I was finally able to get this done. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any more Doctors added to the game, if I'm being honest. So, um, I feel like now is probably one of the best times to do it. If there are more characters added, I doubt they will be good enough to make it on this list anyways. So, um, thank you for watching. Uh, I don't know how well this video is going to do, but there is a very select amount of people who will very much enjoy this, I would say. So, I hope this was exactly what you wanted, and I will see you soon with a lot more Dr. Mario and all my Disney stuff, uh, so probably some more top tens and uh, just ten lists in general this summer. So, thank you for watching. I will see you then. Goodbye.